Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome to the final episode of LA Noir. It's all coming to an end. This one's called a different kind of war. Oh man, I'm interested to see where this goes, how the storyline ends. I'm excited. It's your boy Kelso. And guys, let's just say this right now. If you've enjoyed the series, Smack the like button down below. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, we're here. Yeah, boy, we are Phelps right now. Where are we actually going? Locations. We got a bunch of locations we can actually go to. Let's first go to this rapid exterminatism. So I take it this is all taking place when Phelps was just doing the last case. When he was at that, like, electro plant thing. I don't know. But this is crazy! Right, with this rapid exterminator zone. Let's see what's going down. What is actually happening right now at this place? See, you boy Kelso here. He's got so many clues, so many things to look at. Where does he even start? I don't know. Right, we're walking him. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> What's this then? What's this on the table? We got a newspaper right now. This seems to be a clue. Unlike any other newspaper that I picked up before. Uh, Crusader against corruption. Peterson pledges to clean up LAPD. Who is this dude? What does he want? No idea. No idea. But let's see what else is here then. Is there anything here? No, I don't know if I can find there. What's on the, what's he got on the counter? Nothing there. We're trying to find some clues and hints at some stuff. Is there another door to get into this building anywhere? No parking. Anything in here? No. No, 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 no. I like his big red truck, though. I like his big red truck. Rats, roaches. Wait, hold on. Did he say something about, um... The big cowboy dude? I think we got to get into it. The game's saving, which is really weird. Hmm. Right, I'm going to go back to that newspaper quickly. And we're going to read the story behind it. See what's a cracker lacking, boys! What's a cracker lacking? Right, here we go. Tell me the story! <clears throat> right, what's going down? There's a man on the floor. This is not good. Oh, it's your boy Phelps! What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Oh, boy! The bag man worked a case. I knew this creep was gonna nice. <laughs> you gotta, you, you gotta love Phelps. Hey, detective! <gasps> can we back it off a notch? Whoa, Phelps. This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut up. What's going on? Now is a time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, boy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an army 45 into places that made the valley of death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the suburban redevelopment fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. Told he you. involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! Jeez, you Phelps. I lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon is dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. No bit. I knew he was corrupt. I got better things to do than argue. Your boy the Royal Royal is corrupt. Know. Said it from day one. There's something fishy about him. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Phelps is going crazy. What's he doing? What's he doing, man? You need to calm down, Phelps. Excuse me. 
I'm Kelso, mate. I'm Kelso. Right, there's something to do we have to get in this truck, right? That's what I've heard. That's, that's, that's the, the word on the street right now. And uh, let's take it to the next location. Now, let's go to... Uh, I don't know. Let's go to the nuclear bug and rotor control first. We'll take it there. We'll, we'll look like we're one of the uh, the employees. Ooh, the turn circle is terrible right now. Come on, come on. Easy, easy, easy. The reason I say we need to get into this because there's an achievement on the Xbox if you drive like every vehicle in the game. And I've heard that this is the only time you can get this bug exterminated vehicle. So it's nice to jump into it. I'll probably never do that achievement anyway, but it's nice to know I got some of the rare cars to get. <laughs> right, here we go then. We pulled up at this uh, nuclear bug and rotor control. Kelso is looking for this cowboy dude. He needs to find him. Does he work at this place? Welcome to nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator. Big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, that takes us off that location anyway. Um, next one, then. We've got one less to go, which is the Westlake Pest Control. Let's hope this cowboy dude's here. We can only, we can only hope and pray that we find him. Because Phelps is going a bit crazy. Many an emergency. He's going a bit crazy, guys. We need, we need to sort him out. What's he doing? Chill your beans, Phelps. Chill your beans. Right, come on. Westlake Pest Control. It's got to be here, right? Lego. Right, where, where's the counter? I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. No, we know something. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. Ooh, we got a nice little address there. Sweet, mate. Right, we're heading down there now. We're going to pull up there and start popping people. The surgery. Oh, this is yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, we're back with Phelps. Oh, we're doing a two plate here. Cole. Oh, you made it. Boy. What's this got to do with me, Rusty. Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's Ooh. missing. Uh oh, Phelps doesn't like this, does he? Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Uh oh, someone's stolen his German love. <laughs> right, let's, en let's enter. Let's see what's going down. What's cracker lacking in here, boys? What's cracker lacking? Any clues? Come on, show me the clues. What was the door here? Oh, it leads outside. Get back in, Fo! He's stuck on the door. What's he doing? Well, there's no clues here. Then again, should I? I think I should have followed Rusty. Where is he? Ah! Whoa! Okay! What was that then? Take your time. Ooh! Important I'll give you documents. Some privacy. Listed below the properties you wanted accounted for. Hmm. What properties have we got in here? Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. No way. We're actually getting very deep into this. Liability, speak to Curtis. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. Damn, boy. Any more? Uh, somebody was born in a shape. Family uh, failed. Harvesting during the display. What is this? Holy moly, okay. Right, things are all piecing together then. It, it's, it's, it's all coming together. This is, oh, this is so exciting. Oh, what's that? There is a, is it a glass ball? Ooh, there's blood. So much for your foresight, doctor. It's like going in crystal balls, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's, let's check him out. What's, what's going on with him? Oh, what's in his hand? LH. 
Well, it works. Definitely works. <laughs> a band? Anything? No, 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 no. Okay, uh, right. Let's take the phase. That is the blows on the head. All this strangling. Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Doctor Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. Oh boy. Okay. Right, what's on his desk? The face of progression says, Mayor of Developer Leland Munro. Oh my goodness, that dude. That dude is about to get it. It's all glass shards on the floor. Someone broke in. Hmm. Right, anything else here? That I've missed? Good doctor has been marking this map. Hmm. So what has he been marking? Is he building? Is that like a, a railway or a highway? It's like a big. He wants to build a big railroad station going through like LA, right? Good down here. I'm trying to mark out where it is. Ooh, interesting. Edward Grove. McCarthy Vista, Carson Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? Hmm. New houses all being built in the path of the freeway? Oh, it's a freeway. Uh, new house is building power for the freeway. Because LA is notorious for all these massive highways, so this is pre some of the highways, and they're about to build a huge one running through the housing development. Wow. Okay. Which gives us a better insight to it. So it just shows you the amount of houses that are going to get destroyed. Damn, boy. Right, anything over on this side? Nice fire there burning. Beautiful. Right, let me quick... Oh, <laughs> parkour over the dead boy. Right, anything out here? Oh. Hey, dude. Excuse me. Gonna get through? Maybe not. Maybe not. There's more clues to look for. So is there anything like out here hiding? Oh, there's something. What's this? Junk. Junk. Okay. We got a cabinet. Oh, is that the morphine stuff? Why has he got so much of this? Looks like Fontaine has going on? dispensed his last treatment. Right, okay, okay. Let me go back to that newspaper because the way it's the way there's a second newspaper, and it's like it, this is so relevant to the story. I think we're gonna have to watch this. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control. Of the essence. Keep a voice down. You know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them! Leland, <laughs> you will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? Certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso, who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform him. I thought I could take care of it. And have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. I'm coming to the realization of something. It's no longer necessary. Of how this is going down. I'll take care of Jack Kelso. I 
I feel super smart right now. I legit feel super smart. Let me just. That was wrong. I think I think about Phelps insurance. It's about eminent domain. What? Are he's you about to figure it out too. Goal? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on. It. What about the stiffs who paid their deposit? Yeah, he's We're got it. To get their money back, but the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing. Firewood, all of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we gonna prove anything? It's exactly what I've just thought. Doctor's dead, and Roll nearly bled to death. If they get jacked, we need the fire. Well, I'll explain it just a moment. This is so get crazy. Get, get him, get all of them. Right. Are we going back to uh, Kelso now? Right. Let me just see what happens with Kelso here, and then I, I kind of we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll explain it a little bit more. I don't like how Kelso is now pulling up at this place. It kind of scares me a lot. This place is very scary. It's 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 night time. What are you doing this for? Oh god. So basically what was happening with the uh, Phelps situation there is Remember when we did all those cases and we found out they were building them houses out of, like, um, movie prop sets, like, really cheap wood? Well, basically, right, the, the, the city is going to build a highway. Now, this for the city to buy, build a highway, it's got to buy all the land in which it wants to build the highway on. So what that company was doing is, was building the cheapest houses possible so they're not spending as much money. Then selling them or with the land or something like that. And then um, in kind of changing the insurance details to make it seem they're worth more than what they are. So when the government comes to buy the land off them, they go, oh, it's worth this, worth this much. OK, we'll buy it. But they're not realizing that it's been an improved value by the insurance and they've built it out of really cheap materials. So the people who own the land, that company, are making so much money. It's crazy. Right. Um, OK, this one looks legit scary. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to enter this. I'm going to poo my pants. I'm going to poo my pants. Right, here we go. Let's just get in there. Let's just do it. Anybody in there? Guess nobody's home. Are you going to kick down the door anyway? <laughs> uh, what's this? Wait, is that a flame flamethrower? Most guys bring home a 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme. Holy moly. Well, that's kind of crazy. Um, what else can we find in here? There's a fire lit, so the dude can't be too far. There's photos there. No, you can only check out photos and stuff. Ooh, what's in here? Oh! <gasps> The origami bird things! We did that in a previous case before! This is spooky. Oh man, I'm so scared right now. This is legit Quite spooky. Flock you got here, kid. The river, river tunnels. tunnels? This guy's a tunnel rat. Okay. What's over here then? These origami crane things. A strange obsession. We we seen so many of them in some previous cases. This is leading to something else. This is leading to something else. Oh man, I'm so scared. Oh, what's that? I know those faces. Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. Wait, is that Falbus in the middle? It is, isn't it? Oh my God, Ira. You poor backwards son of a bitch. Oh, he knows them. He knows the person. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. 
I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the LA River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Oh, don't, don't like ask this. questions. Just be there. I don't like this. I'm so scared. This is DA's investigator Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. That was so scary. I was like so sure someone was gonna jump scare me and like just burst through the door. It's too much to handle. Too much to handle! Go ahead, KGPL. 11 K, you see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. 11 K, and we'll go that. three. Oh, that's gonna be dude that's got the German woman. Like a suicide. Phelps love. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units oh, on man. all frequencies. Oh, this is by. interesting. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on oh, this sounds big. Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belongs this sounds to big, doesn't it? Also described as a Navy Chevrolet fleet mine. License number four, William. Wait, they're tailing Kelso now? Eight, six. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. They picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. See, the police are after Kelso now as well. But Phelps can't blow his cover. Ah, oh, this, is, this is ridiculous, man. This is getting crazy. That's Kelso's car. There's Kelso, boys! Lego! Right, we gotta hunt some down there. It's so dark as well. Kelso's extremely dangerous, guys. <laughs> Where's he going? To the right? Wow! Oh, we got for the edge. Okay, didn't we? Look at them. The police little barriers and stuff. Oh, man. Is it, oh, this, could, this could go ahead. Is the police trying to ram me off? My own fellow colleagues. Oh, we gotta go. A green Hudson Commodore? We're in a green car. What's going on anymore? <laughs> right, come on, Council. You gotta get out of here, dude. We gotta solve this case. Stop brain checking me. Uh oh, uh oh. Wow! <laughs> Oh, they're shooting now, guys. They're legit. They're shooting me. What are you shooting me for, policeman? I'm also a policeman. Where's he going? Oh, he's busting through. Jesus Kelso's on the move. Christ. How many cops do these guys own? All units, to the second suspect vehicle. Shot one, three, five, one, six. Boom! Get out of here, boy. One, Kelso. One, dude. Let's go! This is crazy what's going down right now. Alright, let's turn off the sirens. Showing that we're friendly. This car's having some problems, as you can see. <laughs> right, we're coming to the end now. Where's he taking us now? I'm getting nervous again. I'm getting that nervous feeling again, guys. Uh-oh. Who is this guy? Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here man? to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover the spot here. I think that's his fail-safe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are. Got it. Got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And working with Phelps? See, because he's in on it as well. That, Kelso? Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new broom, Peterson? 
Looks like it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I think you might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? Oh man, this is crazy. Right, we're back to Kelso now. Where we gotta go? This is even worse. Oh! Okay, these people. Was not expecting people. Let's go, boy. Right, he's slightly hurt. Boom, 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 boom! Oh, I gotta reload. Gotta go on the reload! Right, he dead. Probably head back up, boy. Probably head back up. Boom. Tasty. Keep on going, Jack. Oh, boy! Get to the pillar, man. Run! It wasn't running. Right, he dead. You want to go? Want to throw some shapes? <laughs> Baby! Got him. Got God him. damn! Right. I'm gonna pick up one of these guns. I'm dangerous, mate. I'm now dangerous. God, there's people everywhere, isn't there? There's legit people everywhere around every corner. Are right, we going up here? Right, where's he next? Oh my god, is a fl Oh no! Is that the dude with the flamethrower? Right, I can't go that way. I've got to go. Christ. Just missed. Have I got to go down here? I gotta go down there. Oh my goodness me. This is like legit scaring the. The, the heebie jabies out of me! Somebody tag that son of a bitch! Whoa! The war is pushing me. Did they get him? Oh boy! Is he dead? I think so. Oh man. Oh man, this is so scary. The war is pushing the body down. Oh god. Well, we gotta climb up the ladders, haven't we? Got him. That's it. Out of ammo. Okay, we're back to the we're back to the handgun. Well, I'll pick up one. Ooh, there's a lot of ammo in here. Should we take the shotgun? What's this one? Okay, we'll take this. This looks beastie. Right, where are we going? I'm, try I'm trying to figure out which way do we go now. Aha! Right. How long do you think you can hold out? Oh, like this guy. Did I just kill both of them? I think so. This gun is deadly. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Someone just got wrecked. Right, crouch behind this. Dear God. What? Who's shooting who here? Throw out the gun. Right, he's dead. I can hear voices. I can hear voices. Reload the gun, boy. Right, we got him. And into the left that you would have had, me boys. Right, which way now? Well, am I going down? 
Michael, he's there, right there. Kill him. Get down the stairs. Quit biking against the wall! Right, we're back to the handgun again. Oh man, we took some beatings then. Took some beans with that handgun. Oh. Alright, guy, popped him with the one. Popped him with the one. Going, Jack. Got him. Alright, pick up a nice little weapon again. More to choose from. I'll take this one. I like this one last time. Oh, is the water rising? Oh no, the water is rising. The water's rising. Who's shooting me? Get me on the pole! Oh. Trying to shoot me, boy. Is he still alive? Pop your head up, boy. Got him. Right, where am I going? Oh, the light's over there. Right, come on, Kelso. You can do this, boy. Believe in you. Oh, I think I've got to go across this little barrier thing here. Oh, this is so tough. This is so tough because I can feel it pushing against me so bad. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. The ladders are just there, Kelso. You got this. You got this, boy. Right, here we go. Man, that was complete luck. I seen that again, though. Got him. Right, let's go. Wow! I'm stuck! Oh my goodness me. That was pure luck as well. Whew. They don't give you any warning, do they? They legit don't give any warning to those people here. Right, we gotta get down over there then. Flamethrower dude was down here. Well, that's where he went, but where do I go? Is it through here? Not down there either. Oh, there's a hole there. Oh, where is it I exactly go? Ah, I see the tunnel over there. Right, right. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, no, 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 not that way. There's a hole there. There we go. Right, guns are ready. <gasps> are you okay, princess? Oh my I goodness! We found her. <gasps> he saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And Naha? Uh -huh. Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom! War's over, soldier! I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Elsa! Are you alright? Get away from her! It's alright, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? Oh you know my this god. Guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you? No. Don't. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. 
the hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better... He's a crazy man. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Vix will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! This is crazy, man. This is so intense. I'm so nervous. <clears throat> There was a gunshot there. What happened? What legit just happened? What do we do, Lieutenant? <clears throat> what just happened? The goddamn screaming! I need to think! And how do you expect to do that, you fucking maniac? They're burned to a crit! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps! Get your own fucking hands dirty! I'm out of morphine. Put these people out of their pain. Now, that's an order. Did folks just get shot? Everyone out of here now. Double time. You two get Lieutenant Phelps to an aid station. Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. Oh my god. This is legit messed up. All right, here's Falpson, boy! He was doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here! I'll get this great hurry, hurry. The water is rising! Oh god. Oh god. Get out of here! I'm not arguing. You're wounded, Jack. Let me help. What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole! Jump for it! Come on, Cole! Oh my god, he just said goodbye! What? Oh my god, I got goosebumps right now. I'm literally shaking with goosebumps. He just said good. Oh my god! Don't. D the chapel. Don't even do it. Don't even do this right now, game. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. This best be for that other dude, the flamethrower. Right, where's Phelps in the crowd? There's Kelso. Phelps, you best be in the crowd or at least walk in the building after. Oh my goodness, there's a picture of him next to the coffin. Oh my god. Phelps is We're gone. We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Hear, hear. A war hero. Oh my god. Who led his men with true valor. I can't deal with this. And through his personal bravery achieved one of his... Anybody else feel sad honors. right now? A cop. Wrongly accused, who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. Ryan, you belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. Oh my God. Call his friend. A detective who fought to expose. Oh my God! Oh my the God! Evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer. You were never his friend, the need Jack. To remove the odd bad apple from a department I guess you're right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued I was never to his fight enemy. the good fight. I think you knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. 
a good husband, a good father, and may I say, a good friend. I can't believe that. I can't believe they killed him off at the end. Did you legit see his like, goodbye, and then the wave just hit him? What is real life anymore? I'll be honest with you right now, guys. I slightly feel emotional. I feel like crying a little bit. It's gonna <laughs> Why did it have to die? Oh my goodness, I can't believe that, guys. Oh. Did anybody see that coming? Holy moly! Guys, that is the series done with. We've done the whole game, we've been from the start when it's a rookie cop, straight from the army, all the way to scandal. And now death. I mean, what a way to go, guys. If you enjoyed this episode and you've enjoyed LA Noir and you miss your boy Phelps, leave a like on the video down below. If you are new around here, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all soon, guys. I'm gonna have to go lie down now and just cry. Say goodbye.